Today I'm going to show you how to adjust your throttle valve cable. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty easy if your Jeep's kind of shifting funny or shifting up too fast or being kind of sluggish. Um, a lot of people get it confused uh, with kick down cable. I, I really don't call it a kick down cable. It's really not a kick down cable. It's they either call it a TV cable or a throttle valve cable. Now if the throttle valve cable is too loose. It will upshoot, upshift very quickly and also cause low transmission pressure. And it could possibly burn the clutches out of your transmission. Um, if it's too tight, it will shift late and it will be harsh. Just a little, you know, a little adjustment can change it a lot. So just make sure you be careful when you do this. You might even have to move it a few times to get it right if it ain't been messed with for a while. So just my opinion I've seen some that didn't want to adjust right and shift really really funny after you do it so uh, just mess with it a few times and you should be alright don't be scared to do it it's nothing too major but uh, I mean make sure you do it right if you go to do it don't just go out there and push the button and do it real quick then hop in your Jeep and get it needs to be just a little tight it don't need to be really really super tight don't pull it out don't pull the cable out don't uh, you know make it tight as you can get it it needs to be tight but not really really tight it needs to have some play in it let's go outside the jeep and i'll show you how to adjust it this is where your cruise control would be if you had cruise control i deleted mine and this is your throttle cable and this is your tv cable first thing you want to do is go ahead and push this button you just want to push it down and push that all the way in as far as you can get it after you push it up in here a lot of people grab this and wide open throttle it i don't recommend doing that you want to go inside, push the gas feed down, and it should extract back out. I'm going to go ahead and take it for a test drive and make sure everything's shifting right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. There is a couple videos on YouTube about that, but I figured I'd do my own way and kind of show you the right way to do it because this is how the shops do it. Um, a lot of people get it confused just from like calling it a kick down cable, and they, a lot of people I've seen people not even messed with those before this is a 91 i don't know if anybody ever messed with it but uh i did it the other day but i thought i'd make go ahead and redo it and make a video of it but mine had a lot of slack in it and it was shifting funny and i've seen people actually uh get transmissions rebuilt and put in and realize it was just something simple as that up there so make sure you check something like that where you go and you know say your transmission there's something wrong with your transmission it's very rare for an aw4 just to give out um, I do put them through a lot of abuse. I know other guys that really abuse them, so uh, they're pretty tough transmissions. But anyway, make sure you go check out all my social media links in the description below. Go buy a t-shirt. They'll be in the description below. Go buy a sticker. They will be in the description below. But anyway, I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.